Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's whole food plant-based on a budget meal prep. I went grocery shopping a couple days ago and found so many good deals at the grocery store. I had a tough time deciding what to meal prep this week, so I've decided to save a couple things for a little bit later in the week. And today I am going to be making a pineapple fried rice, a tofu scramble, and then a big side of stir fry veggies. So the tofu scramble is more of a starch solution food, but then I'll have the rice and veggies for 50-50 plates. So I've kind of stopped labeling my meal preps as starch solution or maximum weight loss. Just kind of doing my whole food, plant-based, no oil, yeah. If you watched my grocery haul video, I do still have all my zucchinis and one red pepper, so I'm gonna do something with those a little later this week. My Instant Pot has already been busy today. I pressure cooked a bunch of black beans, so I had black beans for my tofu scramble, and I did two cups of brown rice. I'm gonna get some water going on the stove. This pan is gonna be for the pineapple fried rice, so I'm gonna cook the veggies and the pineapple in here, and then I can add the rice. And then in this pan, I'm gonna start my veggies for the tofu scramble. For the tofu scramble, I have a whole red bell pepper and then that was some green pepper and onion that I just had left over in my fridge. So I'm going to get that started for the scramble. And for the pineapple fried rice, I like to get the pineapple going first because I like this to be able to get a little bit brown. I think it tastes so good. I also discovered last summer that pineapple on the grill is like the best plant-based dessert ever. It was so good. And that was fresh pineapple that I had diced up and then put in my freezer. It's so great to have frozen for smoothies and nice cream and pineapple fried rice. <laughs> There's the start of the tofu scramble and the pineapple. If you watch the grocery haul, you already know the stir fry veg plan. I picked up some of my favorite stir fry veggie mixes on clearance. I haven't bought these in a couple months because I do try to chop my own veggies, but these are such a time saver and I really like the sauce in these. I might have gone slightly overboard this week buying three, but I was really craving some green vegetables, especially like Brussels sprouts and kale. Brussels sprouts are really expensive to buy on their own, so I think this is a good deal. Next time I do stir fry, I'll buy my own kale and broccoli coleslaw, yada, yada, yada. I also got these bean sprouts that are looking a little bit more questionable than when I picked them up for 75 cents the other day. So I'm gonna open these up and see if they smell okay. I guess I'm not 100% sure what they're supposed to smell like, but they don't smell bad. Actually, I think we might be ready for the next round of veggies on the stove before I get that going in the Instant Pot. Pineapple is not quite ready. Like I mentioned, I want to get it a little bit brown. But these peppers are going to be ready for the corn and black beans. One can of corn and two cups of black beans. All right, here we go. I'm remembering that the last time I cooked broccoli coleslaw in here on the broccoli pressure cook setting, or was it the broccoli steam setting? I want to try not to overcook this. I haven't had these kind of bean sprouts in forever. Yum. Let's try that, because I think the broccoli setting was like seven minutes. 
definitely started with too much water in the pineapple. Okay, maybe it's finally going to start browning. But this is looking ready for the tofu and some seasoning, maybe a little bit more water. So I want to show just how much water comes out with this tofu press. I've had people tell me before that they've tried tofu and it's been too mushy and, you know, complaining about tofu. Because usually the first time you try tofu, you don't know you need to press the water out. I know I didn't. <laughs> I love this tofu press. Look at the little market leaves. So I'm going to do half of this block for my scramble and I'm going to marinate the other half to do in the air fryer later in the week. We'll make the marinade for that, probably last. And this guy's going to the scramble. They're sizzling. All right, and I just chopped this guy up with a spatula. I like to season this type of tofu scramble up with taco spices and nutritional yeast. So today I'm gonna do some garlic powder, cumin, chili powder, smoked paprika. Ooh, these are looking good. This is looking so delish. I think I'm gonna turn this off. And my pineapple is finally starting to brown. I love this smell, it smells so good. Whoop. All right, veggies beeped. Let's see how those look after four minutes. Gotta release the pressure first, Alicia. All right, now we're ready. Oh, baby. Oh, don't those look beautifully steamed? Ooh. Look at the green. Yum. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. All right, I think they've had enough. Time for peas. I'm going to do this bag of mixed veggies. And I'm gonna do some extra peas too because I love them. All right, let's give those a couple minutes. For my tofu marinade today, I'm going to try something new. I got these bouillon cubes from the 99 cent store last summer when I first moved here. And yes, they were only 99 cents. I know my sister has tried hers and her and my mom both really liked this flavor. So I'm gonna marinate my tofu in this. So I'm just gonna break apart those cubes I cut. Half a cube in one cup of hot water. Oh, it breaks so easy. Hope I don't have my whisk ready. Oh man, my water might not have been hot enough. I'm really questioning this. <laughs> Is the water just not hot enough? Or is there something wrong with the cube? <laughs> We're 
gonna pause on that for a moment. I'm gonna give the veggies on the stove just another minute while I add the teriyaki sauce to these guys. These veggies are ready for rice. My rice definitely sat way too long. It is usually not so hard to get the veggies stirred evenly in it. Um, I don't really add a lot of seasoning to this. I usually just do a little soy sauce and then maybe something spicy like chili powder. Hello, Penny. Cayenne, I meant cayenne. I was looking at the chili powder. <laughs> Question that remains. I'm, I'm not feeling this. I should have used hot water. It was hot, it just wasn't hot enough. I think I'd rather waste half a bouillon cube than ruin half a block of tofu. We're gonna try this again a different day with really hot water out of my Brio. You agree, Penny? All right, we're just gonna go with my go-to marinade. A little soy sauce, little splash of liquid smoke. Ooh, that was a little extra. <laughs> Ooh, I love that smell. And garlic powder. And I would also normally do sriracha, but I'm running low. Maybe we'll do some more cayenne. I guess a sprinkle of that. That was a big sprinkle. And I'm gonna add some water to this. I think that'll be enough to cover it. If not, I'll just rinse out the bowl. I think we can get them all submerged. Get down there, buddy. So I'll let this marinate for a couple days and then I'll end up cooking it in my air fryer. Probably with stir fry vegetables or noodles or something. All right, I think it's time to taste test. So I didn't really put salt in anything. The veggies should be fine because they've got that teriyaki sauce. I put a little bit of soy sauce on that, but I feel like it might need a little salt. And the tofu scramble, I'm thinking. I think it needs a little bit of salt if you were gonna eat it plain, but I think with sriracha or some sort of hot sauce, it's gonna be really good. That's one thing I forgot to mention is I usually put a can of tomatoes and green chilies in that recipe. I just didn't have one today. All right, let's try this rice. Yeah, that also needs a little bit of salt or a little more soy sauce or maybe just to eat it with a bite of the veg as well. I love those veggies. Yup, that is the winning combo, mixing the rice and the veg together. Cause that is slightly over sauced and perfect. So thanks for joining me for this week's meal prep. Don't forget to subscribe and be well. I hear you down there muttering. Yes, Penny. What are you trying to express? What's on your mind? 
What's on your cute little brain? You're so cute. Look at me again. Who's my best friend? Who's my little bestie? It's you! Ah, oh, it's you! Penelope G. Let's get you a modeling job. Do they hire plus size cats? Oh, that was mean. I'm a mean mom. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I love you. You're perfect, you're perfect! She could sense me getting ready to film. And she started getting chatty. I'm gonna film a video, okay? Keep watching your cat TV. What's out there today? I saw a big bulldog walk by a lot of, uh, a minute ago. Did you make eye contact? Tell me more. She's a chatty Kathy. Love you. Oh, I love you. Yeah. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Say, I love this new bench you made, Mom. Lots of room to look out the windows. Okay, bye. Hey, how's it go? And welcome to this me. <laughs> Hi. This meal prep it. Oh, I want to start over. I've got three things on the menu today. Again, not what I wanted to say. <sighs> or starch solution. I'm planning on some 50 50 play. <sighs> Reel it in. And the tofu, I guess. The tofu script. Either maximum weight loss or starch solution. I just don't worry. Hi, why? Why can't the words come out of my mouth? But then I'll have the rice and veg that'll be more for 50. I did buy some zucchini. Um, my instant pot has already been busy today. I did. My Instant Pot has already been busy this mo- Because I realized I didn't have any dry- mm. And then I also did a big batch of brown- Okay, that's what I'm gonna say. Fresh pineapple that I had cut up and then frozen. And that was just some fresh pineapple. The best deal like- <laughs> If you watched- <laughs> If you saw the- I bought three bags of this. You already know where the stir fry mix is. You already know where the stir fry veg. That's it. These are, um, I guess I'm not 100% sure what they're supposed to smell like. Actually, I might. <laughs> Dude, I spilled my veggies. Oh. At least the sink was clean. <laughs> I'm recording. How is this pack of sauce so clean and this one is like covered in veg? I like my tofu scramble seasoned up. Oh. When I do this type of tofu scramble, I season it up with taco. <clears throat> I flavor this taco. I've used the black salt that gives it that more eggy flavor, but I don't have, um, I don't even need to go there. Garlic powder, cumin, what, well, no, I don't know, what, <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna do like, gar <clears throat> one more time. Maybe some smoked paprika, so. Why'd I have to end it with a so? I like to season this type of tote. I like to season, <laughs> I like to season this type of tofu scramble up. Oh my gosh, just spit it out. I think I need more water, I've talked so long. 
I like to season this type of tofu scramble up with like taco spice. That's it. Oh, dude. All right, veggies. Oh. Hello. Come be in the video. Come over here. Come look at all your toys. Come play with the toy. Here's your fuzzball. I think. What, Penny? What do you think? Fudge sickle. Swallow it. Ugh. Swallow it. Oh my gosh, Alicia, speak. I also have that zucchini and pepper that I could make a fresh stir. I think it needs a little bit of salt if you were going to eat it plain, but mm. so that'll wrap up this week's meal prep. <clears throat> so that'll wrap up this week's meal prep. Thanks for joining. So thanks for joining me for this week's meal. So thanks for joining me for this week's meal prep. Stay tuned. Mm. So that'll wrap up this week's meal prep. Be well. And be well. Mm. And be well. Mm.